Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy. What? It's your friend. What? It's your next door neighbor. What? Name's Samson. I hate myself. I hate everything I do. You watching uh, potato salad? I, I, I think. <laughs> what, what's cancer sector? The big thing I have to mention is my son, Sebastian, a.k.a. Baz, a.k.a. B the G. People that don't know what that's about, um, you don't know what that's about, so that's your problem. Um, he ate solid food today for the first time. People that are wondering, what did he eat? Uh, organic carrots, straight up. You can't be messing around when it comes to babies. You can't be giving them multiple things at once. It's like a scientific experiment. If you give them too many things at once, it's like... Was it the, you know, was it the sweet potato or the carrot that made him throw up? I don't know. What's he allergic to? I don't know. It's a big day, though. It's a, it's a weird day. It's a weird day for my wife because she's been the sole supplier of this person's food for six months. He turns six months on the first, which is just a couple days from now. And uh, while that's a pressure and while that's a... A big obligation and a big, you know, requirement to be somebody else's food source. Most of you people that are going to be watching this video and listening to this right now are, well, I mean, some of you are probably moms who are breastfeeding, and that's dope that you're listening to hip hop, and I appreciate that. And you're listening to me. It's probably bad for your child, but in the intern, but it'd be good for them later. But um, it's a weird moment when you have to give up that kind of connection i guess and be like yo like this is the first time this kid ate food that we consider food not breast dairy um ever and now he's gonna eat food every day the rest of his life i hope i mean <laughs> i hope we can at least provide that much i'm sure we can uh, it's crazy man i know that i bring up being a dad a lot but it's a thing it's a thing and then i think it fits into me in a way about this show being a hip-hop show um, I think the reason that, that that we could take the Potato Salad Radio Show and keep it about hip-hop while doing anything is the fact that, to me, hip-hop is a life. It's a way you live. It's a sort of, it's a bit of a, an ethos about how you see things. And you think that people that make hip-hop don't have children? You think that that their children don't affect their music, that you don't think that some of that community building, some of that Zulu Nation shit from, you know, the early 90s, you don't think that had to do with seed? Had to do with family? I mean, I feel like hip-hop, when you really embrace it on that level of culture, it goes everywhere. And, and becoming a father, for the fact that a lot of MCs are male, the vast preponderance of MCs that make rap music are male, Becoming a father, but even becoming a mother for the, the women in hip-hop that are MCs or the DJs, whatever. Um, how that changes you. It affects our, you know, it affects every art form. But it affects ours in, in a, in a kind of unique way, I think, because we speak so much. We put our voice to things so much and that they can go back and they can hear us and they can listen to us. And some people that lack mothers and fathers in their lives turn to hip-hop and turn to those voices as voices to be raised by. I, I heard a guy talking recently who had, you know, his father left his life when he was two years old. And he's sort of, people think he's joking when he says, I was raised by Jay-Z, Nas, and Biggie. Because to him, those were like adult voices in his head growing up about how to live your life. Turns out he wound up Spending a number of years in jail, spent, um, you know, spent, was shot in the head, survived that. I'm not always sure that you should listen to rap lyrics as your parent, but hey, being a parent's a big thing and you should take it importantly. So when I come here every week, something we've been doing for like six years now is, or five or six years, whatever it is, is kind of just being me and letting you know how it goes. So. To all y'all parents and all y'all people that know people that are parents and all y'all people that love babies no matter who you are. And even the people that hate babies. My baby had f solid food today for the first time and it was a big deal. He, he got a little bit down. He kind of threw some up. We weren't really sure how that was working out, but it's a funny look on their face too. It's like, gimme, gimme, gimme. Because the last few weeks I've been starting to feel bad. Like he's been watching. He knows when we're eating food. And he's watching. And it's like you're eating in front of someone who's like, yo, can I have a fry? And you're like, no. But you do that like every meal for like three weeks to somebody. Like you could easily give them a little bit of your food, but you're like, no. 
And <laughs> I felt bad about it. And then today, he finally, he was like, he's reaching. He's like, yeah, 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 I finally get the food, yeah. And it's coming to him, and he's like, he doesn't know what to, like, it's a weird thought, but what hit me was he reminded me of a teenage boy that, and wanting, like, sex. It's like he wanted this thing, but he didn't know what he wanted. Like, he's never had food. <laughs> so he didn't know what he wanted. He's trying to, like, grab the spoon, and he's like, what the hell? What is this? I got carrot in my mouth. And then he's like, I don't even know if I like this. So the look is like, cool, I finally got the spoon I've been wanting for months. And there's stuff on it. Awesome. I'm winning. And then it's like, whoa, I've never tasted this. And I feel like the analogy to, like, I can only speak for a teenage boy, but that sort of, like, virginal teenage boy who's like, I really want to get some sex. But they don't know what they're talking about. They've never had it. They don't know what they want. They think they want it. I mean, they, they probably do want it, but they don't know what it is. And, you know, it was funny. Like, he had a little bit, and he was done. And the whole thing was just, I couldn't stop laughing about it. I was like, I think boys are like that all the time. Like, I want what I don't know about. Till I get it, and then maybe I don't want it. Like, he'd take a bite and be like, oh, God, what the hell is this carrots? And then sort of be like, give me more. I like this whole activity of eating, but I, I'm not sure I like the food.